show, show, stop in. Show, stop in. <laughs> I don't know the words. Hey everybody, Neil McNeil here, and today I'm joined by James Chats himself. That's me. We just made t-shirts over on James's channel, and now I'm going to subject him to something <laughs> fun. We are going to be quizzing James on just how gay <laughs> He is. Yeah. So James, you're a big supporter of the LGBT community, but you are not yourself a homosexual. Yeah. Or any of the other. Wow. Many. What? What am I, I trying to say? I don't. Any. Any. You don't. You don't lie anywhere on the spectrum. Yeah. I am very straight. Wow. A heterosexual man who supports gay rights. That is. It's weird, right? That is it's crazy. Weird. Why can't people understand that? That's a thing. But I've decided to quiz you and see. Just how true that is. <laughs> uh, just how straight I am. Of course, uh, Lizzie, my, my girlfriend, is sitting right over there. <laughs> this is a website literally called The Gay Test. If I have like an existential crisis after this, I'm I'm blaming you. I... So am I. Fair. <laughs> totally yes. fair. Question number one. I paid blank for my last haircut. Over $40, 25 to $40, $10 to $25, or under $10? It was $50. Okay, that is not looking too good for you already. <laughs> but okay, to be fair, it was the second time I ever got a haircut for $50, and before that, I never had a haircut for more than $25. I said the exact same thing after the second time I sucked dick. I was like, this is only my second time, never happening again, and here we are. Question number two, who makes the best messenger bag for men? Prada, Cole Haan, Timbuk2 or what's a messenger bag? What is it? It's kind of like a man purse. I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't really sure. Point for your heterosexual. <laughs> Question number three. I have seen blank live musicals in the past year. Five or more, three to four, one to two, or musicals are gay. <laughs> like actually going to like a you have to be in a theater. Zero. Okay, so I'm just gonna put musicals are gay. Unless. Because <laughs> zero is not an option. Question number four. How many yards are the end zone on a football field? I'm pretty sure it's 10. Question number five. Which of the following designers does not produce men's shoes? Manolo Blanc, Prada, Gucci, or Miu Miu? I'm gonna guess Prada. That is my guess. I could not tell you either. Now I'm starting to question my own sexuality. <laughs> Barolo is a wine produced only in A, Piedmont, B, Tuscany, C, Bordeaux, or D. Gayville. <laughs> Bordeaux is the only one I rec- Well, I recognize Tuscany. Let's go with Bordeaux. My cardio routine at the gym consists mainly of high-low aerobics, the elliptical machine, cycling classes, or the treadmill. Well, I don't go to the gym. But, if but you... I run, so okay. it would probably be the treadmill. Okay. That's very masculine of you. Sweet. Number eight. Which of the following careers has Carson Kressley most recently added to his resume? I think I know who that is. Uh, fashion designer, author, Broadway producer, or who? You know what? Being an author is the thing these days. Let's go with that. Next question. Out of these, which do you wish you had? Brad Pitt's face, Brad Pitt's body, Brad Pitt's money, or Brad Pitt's wife? Money. Okay. Because I'm so poor. Maybe body. Because <laughs> money can get you a good body. A good body can't get you money. Yeah, I can. Unless you're a stripper. Unless <laughs> you're a stripper. <laughs> Number 10. I am most likely to cry when somebody yells at me, somebody breaks up with me, Somebody dies, or all of the below. How does that determine probably, sexuality? I don't know, but probably the breakup. Okay. Question number 11. Who won season one of Project Runway? <laughs> number 12. If I could have dinner with one of the following women, I would choose Barbara Streisand, Madonna, Kim Cattrall, or Adriana Lima. Let's go with Madonna. I recognize that. Okay. <laughs> number 13. I get a manicure two to three times a month. Zero. It's, it's zero. My favorite TV show is... So You Think You Can Dance, Gossip Girl, Grey's Anatomy, or Family Guy. I haven't seen two of those, and I've seen like one episode. I guess Family Guy is okay. the default answer I mean, there. I buy my underwear online at eroginess.com. I don't even know what that is. Um, anywhere that has a varied selection of cuts and colors in a 10-pack at Costco, <laughs> or I don't think I've bought new underwear in the past five years. In a 10-pack at Costco. <laughs> Which of the following was not a once popular boy band? Danity Kane, Take That, 98 Degrees, or New Kids on the Block? The 
first one. If I could travel back in time, I would go to Studio 54, the Moulin Rouge, Woodstock, or Nirvana's Reading Festival performance. And just because I like Moulin Rouge. You wanna go to the Moulin Rouge? I wanna go to the Moulin Rouge. I feel like that's not gay though, because it's a whorehouse with ladies. 18, my girlfriend could not drag me to a women's beach volleyball tournament, the county fair, a ballroom dancing competition, or a Cher concert. I so wanna see Cher. Oh man, I, I wouldn't mind going to a lot of these. Probably the, the, the beach volleyball tournament, simply because it's like, it's, it's a it's a weird thing to go to with your girlfriend. Yeah, sure, boobs bouncing around, that's weird. No, I understand, I understand the thought process, but I don't think the scientific test will. If I were at a karaoke bar, I would sing, I will survive. Just don't stop believing on there, because that would be my answer. No, Dang. I'm too sexy, sweet Caroline, or living on a prayer. It's between I will survive and I'm too sexy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Go with I will survive. Okay. <laughs> You're not it's gonna a, survive this test. It's a fun song, okay? And finally, the last question. Which of the following movies does not star Liza Minnelli? Victor Victoria, Tell Me That You Love Me, Junie Moon, New York, New York, or Cabaret? I don't, I don't, you know what? I don't even remember what the responses were. B, and it's probably gonna be the lucky gay guess. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, according to this highly scientific and not at all wrong test, you are 45% gay. You're the kind of guy that likes chicks, but takes a peek in the locker room as well. <laughs> so at least uh, you're still in the clear. You're still a majority straight majority according to straight. this and very accurate website. You know, I mean, I'm not that surprised with the results. Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely still straight. Yes. This doesn't make me question. Well, I think what this test proves is that you can fit any stereotype you want and still be whatever you feel most comfortable with. Boom. You do you. You do you. Like this video, leave a comment below letting me know how gay you are because I know you're all a little bit gay. <laughs> everyone's a little bit gay. Well, everyone's a little bit gay. Everyone's gotta be a little bit gay. Go on over to James's channel. Like I said, we made t-shirts that are very appropriate to who we are. Yes. Very true to form. It was really just a disaster though. No, yeah, it's um... <laughs> we were gonna wear them in this video and it didn't... It's gonna take a while to yeah. dry. Thank you so much, James, for coming on my channel. You're welcome. And thanks for having me on yours. Of course. Anytime. We'll do this more often. Yes. And until next time, I will catch you later, nerds. Bye! <laughs> there she is! Hey! There she is. There's the proof that he is not gay. Yeah, He's this, not. This is, this is my, my, my lady friend. <laughs> She's here to vouch. <laughs> yep. I, need, I need some kind of accreditation. He's a sensitive here. guy. Well, Who loves the Moulin Rouge. It's a because good. I introduced it to him. Yeah, I didn't watch it to until I was To be fair, I introduced him to Moulin Rouge and musicals, and yeah. I've educated you on a lot of things. So what you're saying is you're making your boyfriend gay. Maybe. Maybe.